There's another way to enter uh, objects uh, by a text file and very often for large projects this is much more efficient. So I'm going to close this file open up a new file I'll set a more architectural scale right clicking in the document window choosing active layer scale quarter inch equals a foot click OK and in the uh, AEC menu there is a space planning sub menu and I can choose import adjacency matrix and um, there is a default uh, text file that's found in the applications menu on Macs and, and it's in the programs uh, directory on Windows and if you ch go down to uh, the bottom of the list into Vectorworks once you're in either applications on a Mac or program files on Windows and choose Vectorworks 2013 and then choose um, extras and then choose samples you'll see adjacency metrics.csv so I'm going to uh, choose that one and what I get is a uh, the, the, uh, the first the header rows and one. what I should see is I'm going to start this once here this starts to show you what the uh, what the information is and I can also choose relationships as well color maintenance shop and so forth. Um, I have to set the delimiter to be uh, comma separated values instead of um, the uh, tab delimited. You can uh, you can format the text file in various ways, and I'll show about that in a second. So uh, for this, I'm I'm seeing a little preview here. The relationships can be filled out, but that's uh, probably not as uh, not as easy to do in a text file, and I'll show you a little bit about that in a second. But I'm just going to run this, and I'll get a series of squares on the file. If you uh, if you want, you can choose the uh, the sent the um, fit to objects in the view bar at the top so you can see all the objects at once. There's several other objects that were created here. This one is the adjacency score. I can change the size of this using text and uh, size. I'll just make it, I'll bump it up so it's much bigger so we can see it. This once again has been filled with a few of the adjacencies already in there and as you see uh, I, I can start moving this uh, the relationships around so that I can start working on the size of this. I can move these these rooms around and once I get a number I can compare various alternate uh, layouts by how small that number is. So I can I can see here maybe if I move this over a little bit that I can get a number that's a little bit smaller now. Um, I can again choose this so I'm at 1400 instead of whatever the number was that I had before. Um, this is the stacking diagram that's also produced as a result of the import uh, command you can also just insert one with the stacking diagram object here as well. Um, I'm going to increase the scale here as well. I'm going to make it um, let's say uh, twice as big and uh, twice as high. There we go. So that 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 can be controlled graphically. This is actually just a a, um, a bar chart. Uh, of the relative sizes of each object, so so each uh, box represents a, per a percentage of the whole project with the total square footage reported on on one side. This is actually more uh, useful for when you're using uh, multiple layers or multiple floors, so you can see the relationships uh, 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 vertically as well as horizontally. So we'll go back. Um, and uh, one more object that's created is the adjacency matrix diagram and I'm just going to uh, increase the size here as well by changing the scale so we can take a look uh, each uh, room or space is, is listed and then the space where there are adjacencies or if any are added they'll be reported so what you do is you look under 
for instance, hose drying, between hose drying and training room, there is a relationship of five. So that would be a very strong relationship, a relationship of one between the entrance and dispatch would be um, not as not as strong. So the numbers are, are the higher the number, the stronger the value. Um, so that would that would be just a graphic that can that can show uh, uh, in a in a presentation, for instance, uh, the the relationships that are being considered and the uh, report of those lines that are shown in the drawing here. I can make this a little, a little smaller, so you can see that um, the I can get the smallest possible number. I'm under a thousand here, so um, these numbers can be moved. I can move more than one at a time, like this, by selecting and moving. So this is this actually gives uh, quite a quite a um, sort of graphic look to and and a. a Fair, fair beginning to uh, a set of layouts that you might want to present uh, with, when there's multiple options.